All right, so a lot of people recently have been asking about the difference between down throw and up throw and like when they should use either one or what's optimal. And, you know, I see comments like this guy should have used up throw here or he should have used down throw there. And I don't know, there's not really a lot of discussion on like optimal grab punishes, even though a lot of people seem to think they have an idea of what it is. But anyway... It all has to do with percent, obviously, and your position on stage. Those are the two biggest factors. The rest is basically just mix-ups. But anyway, if you're at like, if your opponent's at like zero to twenty-five percent, you like you're gonna have to guess when you do a tech chase. You're gonna have to guess basically, and up throw is gonna give you a little bit more frames. To make your guess, to like assess the situation, to recognize their DI, stuff like that. But you can still follow up anything from down throw. If you like grab Fox at zero, you can still dare the tech in place. Like you can't do a late dare. You're gonna have to dare as soon as you jump, even from a sh you know it's gonna be a short hop, obviously. But um, you can still fare if you're fast enough. The uh, the rolls and things like that. You know you can run and grab the rolls in in most situations. So, um, it's basically just mixing it up there, and you want to keep, like, constant attention to your opponent's DI and tech patterns, because, you know, like, a lot of people will DI left and tech roll left, or they'll DI, you know, you see that DI left, or DI away, or, you can tell some people just do straight left, and it's not because it's behind, they're just doing left, and then somebody might DI left, but it's because it's DI behind and they have a habit for behind. So some people are just brainlessly going left to right. And some people are have a habit as far as like going behind Ganon versus away. Because you don't really know what they've heard. And you know, they, they think what they're doing is best or whatever. But you just have to take note of their habits. But anyway, um, when you're at like 0 to 25... You're, you're going to have to do some raw guesswork, basically. You're going to have to try to stomp their tech in place or down smash. You know, do, use some kind of multiple option coverage, something like that. But once you get to like 30 or maybe even like 28, it's, it's somewhere in there. Because at 30, I know if you up throw, you can easily on reaction, like, well, not easily, but you can on reaction um, turn around jab at 30 with up throw as up throw you know is gonna give you more time to do that than down throw would and even even at 30 you can also uh if they di behind from up throw you can um like if i up throw here you can down down angle f tilt and that will hit them before they hit ground as well that happens at 30 the jab the turnaround jab from up throw probably starts around 28 like i said i don't know i know it works at 30 but i could tell there was some room but um once you get above that, uh, it's it's still more about mix-ups. You, you won't get the re-grab off the up throw until about 55%. Right? Around 55 until 85 is like the ultimate sweet spot. Like, if you're good, you can get it slightly before 55 or past 85 for re-grab on up throw. And so if you're going to up throw somebody, Right here, in center stage of either Yoshi Story or here at Battlefield, up throw, you have them trapped. Like, if I up throw Fox right now, say I had him and he's at 60%, and I up throw him right now. Like, he has no choice but to get re-grabbed or tech on the platform. He's going to tech on the platform, most likely. But if he doesn't, if he dies behind, I'm just going to pivot and re-grab. You treat it just like a chain grab situation, stare at Ganon, and don't make a move until you can see the throw animation is over. Because obviously you're not going to get the dash JC grab right. You have to get used to that. But you can kind of commit the up throw to muscle memory though. Because it doesn't get lagged by weight like down throw. But anyway. Um, you have him trapped here. Because once you re-grab him. Let's say you up throw Fox. He's at 60 like I said. You up throw him right here. He DI's behind. You re-grab. You've got him trapped again. Because he, if he DI's away, he techs up here. If he DI's behind, you re-grab again. And you always have them trapped if there is a platform in front of you. So, the only thing you have to watch out for is, as their percent grows, they're going to be able to DI farther away. So, if you grab Fox, let's say, right here, 
you grab Fox right here, and he DIs away. Like he's a little, I'm a little too close there. Let's say like right here at, at the percent range I'm talking about, like 60. If he DIs away, he can actually edge cancel his stun right here on this edge and get out of it. So he's not necessarily trapped there. It's still a good thing to go for because he has to be holding away constantly to get that edge cancel. And good players are aware of that, but not everyone is. So up throw is still a good idea, but you could mix it up. But like anywhere from like here to about here, or maybe right here before the platform, you have him like what I call an up throw trap. You have him trapped because you're gonna force a tech chase, and if he deals behind, you get the re grab. So that, again, that's from like 55 to 85. And once he lands on the platform, like the only choice you have off of reaction, especially if you do it like right here, like if you up throw him right here, he deals away. He's going to barely land on the platform. And he's got some options there, obviously. You can tech in place or you can tech roll away. And the best way to cover that, especially if he just has enough, enough percent to land on the platform, is to do an empty short hop and then up air on reaction. Because you can dash. Oh, that was a back air. But if you up throw him here and he DIs away and he lands here, you know, you can then do an empty short hop and up air his tech away you can up air either one so the empty short hop to instant double jump up air is really good for creating an edge guard opportunity and that's what optimal smash is about in my opinion is getting the person off stage immediately and i know i know all of us need to work on our edge guarding of space animals but we should do that you know like don't let that kill your like formula of getting you know your, your process of getting your opponent off stage because you want to get the opponent off stage as efficiently as possible. It, you know, if they're getting back, you know, don't blame it on your on stage process. Just work on your edge guarding. So, all right. So from zero to thirty ish, you know, it, it's all about raw guesswork and and uh, tech chasing. Except for with Falco, you can chain grab if you're. You kind of have to go for a read at that low of a percent, but you can chain grab Falco. Especially if you picked up on some habits, you know, you can really body somebody. But um, from like 30 until like 55, you can still up throw someone on the platform. It's just harder to, you can't really trap them. Like like if like if they're at 45% right here, that's too low to get the re-grab if they DI behind. But you still have a good chance of putting them on the platform. And you also have a small chance that if they DI behind, they're also going to roll behind. But, you know, if you're playing a really good player, depending on how much respect you give them, you could say, okay, he's not dumb enough to DI behind and roll behind. So, you know, you, you kind of have some raw guesswork if they DI behind there. But um, up throw is really good still for the chance that they're going to go on the platform. You can up air them off stage. And, again, I say up air because you could fair them, but, I mean, that, you're, you're going for a read there. And... You know, it's much better to get a hit than not get a hit, even though the fair is obviously better because it sends them farther off stage, and the farther off stage they are, the less uh, recovery options they have. Um, up throw is also good, even if you're off stage, like right here. If when you up throw somebody right here, they either have to go off stage or they can DI behind and tech on the platform. So you kind of have them trapped here too. If they just go straight up and don't DI, just re-grab them. You know, like, try to adopt, like, an option select mentality for your grabs. It's very hard, but that's what Ganon needs to do. Like, don't grab someone and say, I know what I'm going to do to this guy. Unless it's chain grabbing, but then you, you're, you're still, chain grabbing is still a type of option select. But if you grab someone right here and up throw, they, you know, if they DI away... The, the only option they have is like double jump into side B or, excuse me, up B. So, I mean, it's all edge guarding then. You have to be like familiar with their options and you can edge guard them at that point. So, that's something to keep in mind. That's, that's I call that an off stage up throw trap. And when I normally say up throw trap, I, I mean like trapped on a platform. So... And another thing about like before before they're in that up throw trap range on the platform from like 55 to 85, if you get them, like what I was just saying probably about like two minutes ago about um, 
up throwing someone on the platform when they're at like 45 or something like that. Once you get them on there, you can no impact land into a grab, you know, and re-grab on the platform. And that no impact land is very, very underused. Very underused. Like, do it from a pivot to gain better positioning. Do it out of a run, like anything, anything. The no impact land is very, very good. Um, and, and obviously in Battlefield, it can be used here too. You know impact land on the top platform as well. So, and that all has to be off reaction. So that goes back to like the option select mentality. But once they're on that platform, unless you have an, like an easy means of knocking them off stage, it's arguably optimal to land on the platform and re-grab. And this, this is great against Marth even. This is basically a, a mini guide for like fast fallers, but it, that like tech chasing with grab on the platform is very underused. It's, it's just a very good way to go. So anyway, back to the up throw trap, which is like, obviously good on like any platform stage it's a little bit less on dreamland because the percent range that they're gonna land on the platform is a little bit less but it's great for yoshis and battlefield and this is by far like one of the biggest reasons why yoshis and battlefield are ganondorf's best stages um but anyway once you get past like the 90 percent range when you can't get that uh that re-grab from di behind that's when you go for like the obvious back air or even a forward tilt, depending on where you are, something like that. And um, so up throw is pretty good around like 90. And you, you can you can chain grab with down throw at that point too. It depends on your like where you are on stage. Like, and and once you get them to like 110 or something, and you're right here, like you need to option select because if you if I have a spacey at 110 or 115, like right here, and they di behind me, I'm gonna f tilt all day like you know that's not a guaranteed kill they're gonna di it well but they're gonna be far enough off stage that you don't have to go for a read to edge guard them you you just really need to just edge guard them properly and you'll get the kill so that's what you're gonna do around like what well, what you want to do around like 110 to 115 once they get to like 120 ish the f tilt won't reach them they're gonna di too far and you know you'll you'll either 